Okay guys, I just got my water box up and running. Just trying to get the air out of the loop at the moment. Um, it's a Danger Den triple 360mm radiator water box. Uh, and it's cooling a Sandy Bridge um, 2600K on um, the Asus P8, P67 Evo with SLI GTX 460s um, from EVGA and 1600MHz G-Skill Tridents. I won't bother looking at the rig too much, I want to look at the water box. Um, it's on a Banchetto 101 test bed. Uh, I used this fan controller from um, NZXT. It's the one that sits on your desk. Uh, it's got a touch screen. It does five channels, um, 10 watts per channel. I actually had to split each channel because of the amount of fans that I have. So here's the water box, here's the radiators, they're black ice SR1s. Um, the low RPM radiators. I'm using Enemax Magmas. Sorry it's night time so the light's a bit bad. Um, dual MCP 655s with um, bits power mod kits. So the, you can see the black uh, mod kits on the bottom there and then I've got a dual D5 bits power um, that, that perspex bit whatever it's called. I uh, used all bits power fittings, compression fittings, elbows, 90 degrees, rotaries and stuff. That's a Danger Den ra um, radiator reservoir. Um, so there's some coolant quick disconnects on the side here so that you can disconnect the water box easily and just some 90 degrees there so that I could push it up against the wall. Uh, yeah, there's one fan that's not working. I think um, it must have come unplugged when I was doing the cable management. All the other fans are going at full RPM, so I doubt it's a power problem. I'll just give you a better look at the tubing design. So you can see that tube goes into that radiator. So it starts at the reservoir anyway, it goes through the pumps both pumps and then up to the seat to the whatever it's cooling and then it comes back in to the radiator out there into the next one out of that one into the next one and then up into the reservoir so there she is pretty beautiful um, I'm just running leaks at the moment too just you know, the air isn't out of the loop yet, it's still full of air. Seriously, I've had it running for three minutes. You can see I've just been filling it up. I've got filters on the front there. Um, yeah, that's a Swiftec Apogee XT water block on the CPU there. I will be cooling more components with this water cooling system eventually. Um, but this is a review test bed, so I'm swapping and changing it all the time. Um, so this will be for testing only. Um, so I'll just give you a look at links and the, the temperatures that I'm getting. Um, so this has been running about five minutes or something. Um, now the CPU is at 4.6 gigahertz. I'll just show you that. 4.6 gigahertz. Um, V core is at 1.3 volts and the CPU is not passing 70. It's getting up to about 68 maximum. So that's pretty awesome with my air cooler. It was getting up to 85 degrees at 4.6 gigahertz. So I'm going to be able to push this thing the hell of a long way. Well over 5 gigahertz I'm, I'm expecting. I'm hoping. Alright guys. There will be more videos. Um, 
If I manage to um, get a nice overclock over 5GHz, I'll be showing you guys. Thanks for watching.